Hello! Happy Tuesday! How is everyone? Just gonna wait for a few people to hop on. I'm also gonna share this really quick. Unique Beauty VIPs. And where's my other group? Hello! How are you? Alana's. Let's see. That one, and we'll share it to that one because why not? Hi, Emily. Um, so hi guys. I'm still in my workout clothes. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to stay active during this pregnancy, but mostly I'm also trying to get my mom to do stuff with me. So her and I did one of those exercise videos, Shanti size, which was hilarious to do. Okay, hilarious. We both can't dance, so doing it was really really funny. So hello, how are you? All right, so we're gonna get started. So the look that got the most reactions and likes is this one. So we're gonna do this one. Everyone seemed to like that one the most. So let's stick with it, shall we? So I'm gonna get started with the eye makeup look and then we're gonna move into the rest of the face. So to do the eye makeup, I'm using my Morph palette, the Pride Morph palette. It's got a lot of the bright colors that I want to use in it. So we're going to use that one first. So let's start off. I'm going to use this color Life, this bright red here. And start blending it in. So this is the Morph palette. Uh, the one that they came out with for Pride Month. So it's like all super vibrant colors. It's really, really pretty. I'm actually really glad I grabbed it. It's really pretty. The colors are super vibrant. You don't need to apply a lot to get the look you want, which I find very important. Just got up to her brow here. Hi, Sarah. And just trying to blend it in. Hi, Kayla. So getting some of that red in. She's got her other eye done, but I'm really gonna stick to the half face, just because the half face, face works out so much better. Then I'm gonna take another brush and start going into this color Harmony, which is a bright blue. And I'm really just applying this also all over my makeup from today. <laughs> I was like, eh, I don't feel like taking anything off. Plus there's no point. I was like, we're all going to look super cool in just a little bit. So I'm using Harmony. So I'm going to be using a lot more face paint today than I usually do. So get ready for that. So I'm going to be using a lot more face paint. So I'm using Snazaroo face paint, and mostly for like, the deep color here and I'll probably set it with some uh, shadow on top just so it kind of get looks more pigmented which is what we want to accomplish all right and then she's got this super highlight under her brow so I'm using liberation right underneath this is a really pretty color like really pretty that and we're gonna do some white eyeliner it's because she's got a little white eyeliner it's really just like keeping this look as simple as possible when it comes to the eye makeup because of all the extra stuff we're gonna have to do so I got a little blue there so hang on I don't want blue there so yeah if you guys do share my video Please comment America once you do that. You have the chance to win a Target Beauty box from me just for sharing. Let's do, we're going to do the white. So we're going to start going into the face paint now. So we're going to do the white. And I'm going to use, let's see, hi Rena. find a thin skinny little brush to do this there we go we'll do this one 
I'm gonna put some water on it. Thanks for sharing. So we're doing the white eyeliner. Hi, Amanda. I don't know what that was, but the dogs just went nuts. There we go. All right, so now we're gonna start going into building the skull. It wasn't a lot for the eye makeup. Thank you for sharing. Comment America, America when you, when you share, please. You have the chance to win a Target Beauty Box. So let's start doing the nose. So we're gonna start drawing out the skull. Hi, Miranda. Thank you. She's got this line going down here. Hi, Jillian. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Alice. So I like using face paint sometimes. I don't know why I didn't do this for the last skull face, but the face paint is much more pigmented and you're able to get a better shape to stuff and it doesn't feel so super sticky and heavy like when you use um makeup to do this something I'm noticing more and more often as I do these more often so it's not so heavy and it doesn't feel as sticky as makeup can all right so now we're gonna start doing thank you for sharing so it's like up here Hang on. I always mess this part up. So I want to be sure I'm doing it right. There we go. I always mess that part up. Thank you. I am too. I miss doing these. I'm glad I'm doing them too like I miss doing them I don't know well I do know why I stopped I got lazy that's why I stopped but I'm glad I'm doing them again they're really fun to do they're interesting to look at when you're done <laughs> right, we'll go along the jaw here Nope, nope, don't go away, don't, there you go. There you go. Ah, yes, you're a fall lover. Hi, Lauren, that's why. See, I just like doing them because they look cool. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> if I get it to look right, it looks cool. If I don't get it to look right, it doesn't look cool and we don't talk about it. <laughs> By the way, for those of you watching, I do do kids' birthday parties doing these. I have done them in the past. Obviously, they're not as intricate, but I have done them in the past, so it's good to know. Hi, Rachel. So, I have done them in the past. See, I love summer, and even though I'm hot and I hate how I'm feeling lately because I'm pregnant, <laughs> I love summer. I love summer, so it's really sad to me that I'm like so cranky this summer because I just love summer. Let's do, I gotta find a good brush for this part. Let's do this one. All right. So we're gonna start filling in the blue and the red. 
So these are really cheap, like, face paints from Michaels. But they get the job done. So I'm not hating them. Hi, Crystal. Eventually, I want to invest in, like, the really good face paint kits. But that's for another time. We're not there yet. She's got some blue up here. That's for, like, future Lana goals. It's like when you get into makeup. So when I got into makeup, and I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. I started off buying, like, dirt cheap products. I'm talking, like, I'm talking e.l.f., okay? Hi, Andy. I'm talking e.l.f. products. I used to buy e.l.f. products and, what else, like a few uh, Maybelline stuff. Not that they're bad brands, by the way. But I didn't want to spend the money when I was trying to figure out what to do. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um, I didn't want to spend the money until I knew for sure, like, all right, this is something I want to invest in. This is something I want to do. So I waited. And then as I got better with stuff, then I started buying, like, the more high-end products, the more expensive products. Um, and I'm glad I did that because I was able to really practice. Because here's the thing, when like you're learning something, it's okay to start off with cheap stuff. That's how I did everything. I've always started off with something cheap. Like my paints, when I got into painting, my paint was cheap. When I got into like fabric and stuff, like when I started doing fashion design, everything I bought was cheap because I didn't want to spend, you know, $100 on something and mess it all up and be upset that I just spent all this money on a product that doesn't work out for me. So I started low and I added on as I went. And that's what a lot of people seem to forget. Like you can always start off on the cheaper end of stuff and add on as you develop. But these face paints are actually really good. They're, they're not bad. For being inexpensive, they're not bad. And I'm not going to say cheap. I'm going to say inexpensive. Okay, because cheap just sounds like a $2 hooker on the street. Inexpensive sounds better. Inexpensive sounds like an escort with a coupon. So we're adding on some more red. <laughs> I thought you'd like that. Trying to blend these together better. Get a little on the nose. Now I look like Ronald McDonald, but that's okay. Hi, Andrea. Looking a little Ronald McDonald here. Start blending this. Sorry, it's hard to talk when I'm by the mouth because <laughs> I don't want to like do anything and mess it up. Because that won't be cool. Then I'll be upset. Then no how matter cheap my face paint is, I'm going to be upset that I have a messed up look. All right, so we have that part. So I'm gonna start doing some shading and I'm gonna use the red from the Morph palette again. Cause she's got a little shading on this look. So again, we're gonna go back to the life color, this red. And just kind of shape around the skull. I think I want a thinner brush. And around here. Yeah, I think I want a thinner. Actually, it's not bad. Okay. 
It's not bad. So this morning as I'm driving to work, um, I'm a big country fan. <laughs> so Independence Day by Martina McBride came on. And I'm like, let freedom ring! Blaring it in my car at 7.30 this morning. Hope everyone loved me on Broadway. Gave them all a private concert. I'm a big country fan, so... Hate all you want, but I'm a big country fan. Love country music. So easy to listen to. So fun to listen to. It's a little dark for that shading, but that's okay. Hi, Tiana. See, like, this is, like, bothering me. Where, the, like, it was, there was a little fallout. Might have to add, like, some major highlight in there or something. We'll do a little here. Thank you for sharing. All right, cool. So now I'm going to start going into the blue again. That way I'm able to darken this blue up because it is a little light blue. But I want to use the shadow to do it. It's also going to help blend it. So it's going to darken it and help blend it. And then up here a little bit. All right, I'm regretting adding paint up there, but that's okay. Because we're gonna paint some stars and I'll probably end up gluing gems on my face again. Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> I like to glue gems on my face. red so I also want to ask those of you who are tuning in is this a good time to go live hi Stephanie the 7 30 ish almost 8 o'clock you tell me should I go live later hi you tell me I will say, getting up in the morning for a job is really hard. No, don't go away. There we go. I'm open to any opinions. Or if you have a preference for a time. Alright, we're going to go back to the white. Because I want to outline these again. To make them like really stand out. It's going to be one of those things where I'm going to keep going back to it just to make sure it really stands out. Especially because we haven't even gotten to the, the lips yet. Eight or after. All right. So we have an eight or after preference. I will say, I'm trying so hard to do the later ones. I'm just lazy. I also contemplated doing the earlier ones, like when I'm getting ready for work at like 7 in the morning, but I figured everyone's going to be so busy at that time trying to get their kids out the door, it wouldn't really work out. Okay. 
Because granted, kids are on vacation. Hi, Heather. But... Granted, kids are on summer vacation, but I know parents are not. So I know it can get, that can get stressful. Hello! I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do for the teeth. It's really hard to tell. I think I'm gonna start outlining them in the white and figure out where I wanna go from there. Also, don't forget to share and say America, excuse me, when you do share and you will be entered to win a Target beauty box. Shares are super appreciated. Hang on. There we go. It's hard to talk when I do the mouth or the eyes because I don't want to mess it up. Thank you for sharing. All right, so now that I have that, make sure you say America too when you share on this. I'm just trying to brighten up in here to get rid of some of that blue. Hi, Beth. All right, so now that we've done that, we're gonna add in the teeth a little bit more get to that, and then we're gonna add in all the sparkles and stuff, and we'll be good. So, let's start off with, what did I use last time? So we're gonna use a red liquid eyeliner and a blue liquid eyeliner, okay? So she's kinda got like every other tooth. So this red one is from NYX, Vivid Brights. So we'll start off with this one. I know I haven't done it in a while, but I'm starting it back up again. I did one last week. We're going to keep it back up. That's the goal. That is the goal. So then we're going to go back in with the blue liquid eyeliner. See the issue with her teeth I think is that she's got stickers glued on again. And this is someone totally different than I did last time. But she's got stickers glued on. So I'm filling them in. Hello, hello. So call this my like artistic expression with it. 
Artistic freedom. The skulls that are really popular with you guys, I'm noticing. Whenever I post one that has a skull, everyone's like, do that one! Not a bad thing. Because I actually like doing the skull ones. I think when I realized that I really like doing makeup was my first Halloween, not my first Halloween, but Halloween a few years ago, and I did a sugar skull. And I've been obsessed ever since. And oh my god, does anyone remember the one I did this past Halloween? When I got back from Cancun? Sure thing, definitely come to me. As long as you don't mind a newborn coming with me. I'll be a parent by then. Ooh, weird. Um, so, <laughs> this is funny, so don't get upset or anything. But I actually have um, a video. There you go. So, I actually have a video on YouTube. And it's that video I did live of me doing the sugar skull. And it has a lot of thumbs down on it. <laughs> Which I think is funny. I was like, oh, okay. It has a lot of views, but a lot of thumbs down. I think it's just because um, most people get really upset about the cultural appropriation with it. And it is a little cultural appropriation. But I was just doing a fun Halloween look. I'm like, okay. Uh, I have a mouth. All right, there we go. There's that. All right. Do a little highlight here. I'm going to use that liberation color again because it's really pretty. That really, it's like really like shiny white. So we're going to do that right here. That is like really bright. Hi, Dami. And we'll add a little sparkle there. There we go. Don't you go anywhere, video. You come back. Um, I didn't do any on my nose. We'll do it with the liner. doing Halloween makeup which is surprising because I really hate fall so I like doing Halloween makeup I just don't like fall <laughs> all right so this is gonna get tricky so we're gonna do a bunch of stars so I'm gonna be drawing in the stars so yes I'm gonna be doing the do 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 and filling them in <laughs> it's the only way I know how so that's how it's gonna go so just go on here Hi, Zeta Bug. How are you? All right, then she's got a big one up here. Zeta, what do you think? It's my cousin, everyone. <laughs> She'll tell me honestly. 
So we're filling in the star. Thank God it looks kind of perfect. Kind of not. There we go. Another star. She doesn't have that many white stars on her. Thanks, honey. You could do it too if you practice. I'll paint your face like this one day when you come over again, okay? She has a star here. Hi, Emily. Let's see where else she's got. She's got a star here. I'm really mad I can't find my white eyeliner. There we go. It is very hard. It is very hard. Because you're using a mirror and that's it. And hoping it comes out cool. Another reason why I keep going over the white, by the way, like I said, these are like inexpensive face paints. Is thank you is also because it like fades out when you first start putting it on. So I'll go over it one more time. To keep it vibrant. Like that. See? Alright, so there's that. And let's move on to the blue and the red stars, which we can use with the liquid eyeliner again. Thank God. So we'll start with the red. And then we'll start doing some work. Yo, stars are hard to do. I don't care what anyone says. Stars are hard. <laughs> Let's do one up here. So tomorrow night... I'm gonna do mocktails. So I used to do those Thirsty Thursdays, and I stopped doing them. One, I was working during those times. Two, I'm now pregnant, <laughs> so I can't drink. So I'm doing a Thirsty Thursday, if you will, but I'm not doing it on Thursday this week just because everyone's gonna be busy. So I'm doing a Mocktails for Mamas on Wednesday, so tomorrow. So for those of us who are pregnant, because I'm not kidding, I have seen five pregnancy announcements this week. Um, I'm going to be posting some mocktail recipes. And showing you how to make them. So you don't feel left out. Because I don't know about you guys, but how I like to enjoy my summer, it was with some beers and some margaritas. And I can't do that this summer. See, so, oh no, no, but it's precious cargo. Oh, whatever, it's going on my pants. This was really hard to find, this red one. So I'm like holding on to it for dear life as I apply it. That is a really crappy looking star. All right, let's do some blue ones with the blue eyeliner. The due date of my baby is October 4th. So I still have a long way to go. Hi, Amy. 
October 4th. So I have three more. So I have, tomorrow I'll be 27 weeks pregnant. You're pregnant for 40. So I have 13 more weeks to go. And your birthday's next week, isn't it, kiddo? Eh. I'm trying to get a good angle on this part. I know. But I also can't believe that I'm already 27 weeks. Which is craziness to me. I feel like I just found out yesterday that I'm pregnant. But I did it! <laughs> I can't believe you're going to be 12. Are you excited to go meet Haley? In a little bit? Thank you, Amy. Okay. I think that's enough stars. <laughs> Should I glue gems to my face? Should I glue gems? Just to add a little sparkle. Why not? Hi, Jessica. Why not? Let's add a little sparkle by gluing crap to my face. Because it's fun. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Zeta, you would. Oh, oh, you're on the outside. Oh, cool. <laughs> Just a few because I'm running out. All the gems. All right, well, I got five. So we'll be gluing five. <sighs> Back. All right, let's see. Let's see here. We're gonna be using that lash glue that I can't stand. I think five gems is good. gems is enough gems. So I'm using this lash glue that I really can't stand. But it does work really well when it comes to gluing stuff to your face. Mostly because it glues lashes to your face. So of course it's going to work out. Thanks honey. I miss you. Trying to blend that. So 4th of July, I do have plans to do like a normal, cute 4th of July look. So that is in the cards. We shall see. It will be a normal, cute one. And put it here. I feel like I need one more gem. Thank you. I feel like I need one more. Do I have one more somewhere? I probably don't. I probably only have colored ones. Oh, well, I could do blue ones. Do some blue ones. We'll throw in like one, two, three blue. Free blue is good. Don't you think? I think so. Whew. 
You need more. A thousand. I don't have a thousand, honey. That would match this look. I should correct myself on that part. I don't have a thousand that would match this look. I have a thousand in many other colors. This reminds me I should probably hit up Michael's and get some more because apparently I like to glue 6,000 gems to my face at a time. There we go. These are so fun to do! I'm adding two more. Not sorry. Put one in the middle here of this big white star. And we'll put one right here. Hi, Heidi. Thanks, babe. I think that's good. I think that's good. I think that's enough. What do we think? I think we look like the picture. I feel like I need one more red star somewhere though. Because there's a lot of blue ones. There we go. Alright, so that is my Tricky Tuesday. Thanks to all of your votes. And I only, so I really went with this one because everyone reacted to it. Everyone, pretty much. Um, so while there were a lot of other really good ideas, this one definitely won because it was like everyone wanted to see this one done. So, but there's always time where I could probably do another one another time. Maybe not this Halloween, or not Halloween, 4th of July looking one, but I always get recommendations on skulls. So we could probably stick to the skull look. All right. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I always greatly appreciate it. You guys are the bomb. I will talk to you later and have a great Tuesday night. Bye.